Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and today in this video I will tell you three things. Number one, some basics and definitions about second method, algebraic equation, transcendental equation and roots. Number two, how to find out root of an algebraic equation by second method on Casio FX 901 ES calculator. And number three, how to find out the root without doing the math. Isn't it cool? So let's start. Our question is find the root of x cube minus 5x plus 1 equals to 0 given x0 equals to 2 and x1 equals to 2.5. So first some basics. The definition of second method. Second method is a numerical technique used to find roots of algebraic and transcendental equations. Number 2. Algebraic equations. Equations having quadratic or cubic polynomials are called the algebraic equations. For example, x square plus 2x minus 2 equals to 0 is an example of quadratic polynomial because it has power in 2 or square. And second is x cube plus 4x square minus x plus 8 equals to 0 is an example of cubic polynomial having power as 3. Next, transcendental equations. Equations having sine, cos, tan, e to the power x, x to the power e, log, etc. are called transcendental equations. For example, 5x minus cos x minus 1 equals to 0. This question I will solve in my next video. Or x to the power e minus 2x plus 7 equals to 0. Next is root. The value substituted for the unknown quantity here the x satisfied the equation is called the root. I will explain the meaning of root at the end of this video. So for now, let's proceed to our solution. Let f of x equals to x cube minus 5x plus 1. Given in the question, if we put x equals to 2 in it, you will get minus 1. And if we put x equals to 3, we will get plus 13. So since f of x changes sign between 2 and 3, one root lies between 2 and 3. One root. There may be more than one root to some expressions which I will explain in my later video. And the values 2 and 3 are called the range of the root. To get this value, you can program your calculator. So press alpha and this button to get x. Press shift and this button to get cube minus 5x plus 1 and now press the calc button and when you enter x equals to 2 that is enter 2 and press equals to you will get minus 1 similarly when you will enter x equals to 3 you will get 13 so f of x equals to x cube minus 5x plus 1 x0 equals to 2 and x1 equals to 2.5. So, by general formula of second method, we can say x2 will be x1 minus f of x1 into x1 minus x0 divided by f of x1 minus f of x0. So, very simple formula. So, let's apply it. x1 equals to 2.5 minus f of x1, which you can find. x is now 2.5. That is, press S2D button, that is 4.125, 4.125 into x1, that is 2.5 minus x0, that is 2.0 divided by f of x1, that is 4.125 minus f of x0. For f of x0, enter x equals to 2, you will get minus 1, that is minus 1, so which gives us 2.0975. So how to do this calculation on your calculator, I will tell you. Just enter the whole expression into the calculator. 2.5 minus 4.125 into, press this button for a fraction, 2.5 minus 2 divided by 4.125 minus of minus 1 and press equals to. So you will get 
2.0975 similarly for x3 it will be using previous values that is for x3 it will be x2 minus f of x2 into x2 minus x1 divided by f of x2 minus f of x1 so x2 is 2.0975 minus f of x2 will be minus 0.2595 minus 0.2595 x2 is 2.0975 minus x1 that is 2.5 divided by f of x2 this value minus f of x1 and f of x1 is 4.125 so that will give us 2.1213 so by this technique continue the iterations Next question, when to stop our iterations? We'll stop our iterations when we'll get almost equal to values or exactly the same value in two successive iterations. As you can see, for this question, in X4, we get 2.1285 and in X5, we get 2.1284. That is almost equal to value. So, we can stop our calculation. And this is our required root. So since in two successive iterations we got almost equal to values, we can stop iteration. So the required root is 2.128. And now I will tell you how to find out the root without doing this long calculation. Directly on this calculator. So the expression is programmed into the calculator and press alpha and calc button to get the equals to sign. And enter 0. And now press shift and calc and enter your closest guest for the x value so we can enter either the lower range of the root or the upper range of the root so our lower range was 2 so enter 2 and press equals to it will do the calculation for you so x equals to 2.1284 now i will tell you what is the meaning of root the root is the value we obtain during the calculation if we put the value in place of x in this expression and calculate, you will get equals to 0 or almost equals to 0. For that, our answer was, press answer button and equals to. So our answer was 2.1284.19064. We truncated the value to 2.1284. But the actual value is this. And if we program this to... for cube press shift and this button so answer cube minus 5 into answer plus 1 so in place of x we are using our answer value and press equals to so you will get equals to 0 that is the meaning of root the value substituted for the unknown quantity here the x satisfies the equation is called the root of that equation isn't it cool so friends, this was my video on second method on algebraic equation. In my next video, I will tell you how to solve a transcendental equation using second method. So don't miss that video. So how was the video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please like it using the like button below. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. By subscribing, you can stay connected with me and get regular updates from me. Just whenever I upload my next video, you will get an email if you subscribe. And please share this video among your friends and family because sharing is caring. You can watch my more than 27 videos on numerical methods covering how to find out root using newton raphson method, using regular falsi method, using bisection method and many other methods. You can get all those videos on www.youtube.com from class sujoin70. So please like and share this video that really encourages me to make quality, more quality videos. So thanks for watching, see you in my next video and still then stay connected.